my 25th year being involved with SRA, and I, uh, in 1991, I was attracted to SRA when I was running a computer research institute at USC, and I was looking for an organization that was really focused on research management and that provided an opportunity for people from a wide variety of uh, occupations and wide variety of expertise to uh, get together and know more about it. It was my first research job, and I knew accounting, and I knew finance, and I knew computers, but I didn't know research, and, and SRA was a great home for me. The value of SRA is in many dimensions. Um, I've gotten so much value out of being involved with the people in SRA, both the volunteers, primarily the volunteers, and the people that are involved in the SRA corporate offices, those connections that I've made with people all across the country and internationally have meant the world to me. They've uh, bolstered my career. They've given me expertise in areas that I didn't have expertise. They've exposed me to ideas that I um, really cherished and developed those ideas into, into new things. Uh, got involved with uh, the international part of SRA during my tenure there. Um, got involved with the uh, department administrator training so we could look at people throughout the organization from uh, the people that are in the, in the trenches doing the work all the way up to the vice presidents and vice chancellors and leaders of the institutions. At SRA, you can see all of that. You can be exposed to all of that and just have a wonderful, dramatic experience in so many different ways. And when you think of collaborations and you think of SRA, um, they go hand in hand. Uh, everyone at SRA has a work experience and life experiences beyond their specific job or beyond their specific institution. And so reaching out to others uh, in other academic disciplines, in other technical expertise areas, and in other kinds of organizations is uh, one of the great benefits that you can get from SRA. Um, in my own particular case, I was very fortunate to be involved with SRA early in my research career. And as my career progressed and moved forward, I'm in a lot of ways, at the, um, at the help of SRA, because it fostered me and exposed me to lots of people in the community, I moved on to the AAMC, the medical school people, and then finally into ARI, the Association of Independent Research Institutes. And having those uh, experiences and collaborating with those people has meant the world to me. It's, um, I've learned so much. It's helped my career in so many different ways. And being here at this uh, SRA meeting today and seeing so many friends from 25 years ago, so many people that are really involved and energized about what they're doing is just fantastic to see. I don't think you can find an organization with so many dimensions and so much diversity uh, other than SRA. Yeah. To think of the chapters, the sections, um, the international aspect of it, um, the training programs that they develop for people, the mentoring and leadership programs that they make available, uh, the scale of the operation is just fantastic. So being involved in, in the research, sponsored research uh, marketplace, is this is a very challenging time with the, the money constraints that we've seen with, uh, with NIH and with other granting institutions, NSF, and knowing the stress that our faculty are under to produce high quality of research and our institutions are experiencing trying to provide solid financial exposure and solid financial underpinnings for the people that are in this business, those are enormous challenges. And for the members of SRA to, to be right at the heartbeat of what's happening and to be constantly looking for efficiencies and trying to find better ways to do things, to, to try to find ways to support our faculty. The research is important. Our faculty give their lifetime to it, and it's our job as research administrators to, to make that road easier for them and to do everything possible that we can to support them. And, and I think SRA's totally tuned in to that aspect of these challenges and really is moving towards the future. Uh, I see so much growth and so much dynamism uh, within SRA, and I think that really is, is super supportive to our faculty. I wish more faculty could be here to see and experience um, the dedication of those people around this, this so, conference. So yeah. many people are in, engulfed in their work and just so focused on what's happening day to day and keeping up with all their priorities. And it takes a special person and I think a special leader to point out to them 
that they're going to potentiate their um, career and they're going to do a better job at their job if they do get involved in their professional association or their professional society. Uh, throughout my career as I've tried to mentor and lead people, I've always made one of the uh, metrics that I look at for their annual performance evaluation is, are you engaged in your career? Are you engaged in your societies? Are you engaged in your profession? And that professional engagement really makes you, I think, a much better person, a better leader, a better worker, a better informed person. Um, I, I think it just matters a lot to people, and, and it's something that, that everyone should strive for and everyone should encourage.